is Carolyn with the YWCA in Bucks County, and we are welcoming you to our podcast. This week, we concentrate on starting back to school and preparing our kids for the best school year. We also have announcements about our homework zone, and we will talk later on about these tips. Stay tuned to the YWCA Empowerment Podcast. Welcome to the YWCA Bucks County Empowerment Podcast. This is Carolyn Patches. Today, we're going to talk about going back to school and how to prepare for your child. Preparing emotionally for the first time when your child starts kindergarten, it takes a lot of emotions. Lots of kids are very anxious about this big new change of starting school. It may be the cause of a huge bag of mixed emotions, both the excitement about growing up and moving on to the next step, and the sadness at watching them become more independent in the sense that they don't need us as much. Ultimately, it's a wonderful thing that they will be growing, learning, developing, and building character, but it's definitely a whole new world for them. Visiting the school together and ask to be shown the places that are really important to your child and their settling in process is very important. For example, you should ask, where are the toilets? Where to get the snacks? The self-registration area, the coat racks, etc. You may be excited to see the library and the art studio, but your child needs reassurance about the more impo immediate and fundamentally important areas at this stage. Trust me, knowing where the toilets and sinks are is the number one concern of every single child when they start kindergarten. If possible, meet the teacher together and encourage your child to say hello and share a few things about themselves. Let your child share a toy or something they love to do. Talk about how they love swimming or sports. Ask simple questions about the school day and what sorts of things your child will be doing in the settling in period. Lots of schools now offer a home visit to allow the teacher to see the child in their own home setting, which is fantastic. Certainly take them on, on this offer. They are not coming to check your home. They want to get to know your child in a more relaxed environment. If allowed, ask to snap a photo of the teacher in a new classroom and then date this home and stick it on a little place where your child can look at it every day and discuss it with you. Borrow lots of starting school books from the library and read them every day over the summer break, picking out the fun and exciting activities that are going on in each one and using them as starting points for conversations. If your child seems worried about starting school, then use books to draw out these fears and reassure them. Most fears are related to not knowing what is going to happen and where things are, and these can be talked through to the best of your knowledge. Go on a special and exciting trip together to buy the uniform, essential items for starting school, such as a lunchbox, new shoes, coat, or stationery. Make it into an adventure rather than a chore and try to do it one-on-one -on -one without other little ones to distract the attention. These are very good recommended things and you should prepare practically. Everything has to be easy to put on and also make sure you have some books that you have purchased ahead of time to help you in your after-school academic resource to help your child with their homework. Teach your child beforehand how to write their name and recognize their own name. Teach them how to learn the alphabet and the sounds. Teach them how to use the toilet, hand washing, and talk to your child and encourage them by looking at their eyes and smiling, asking what their names are, and introducing themselves. 99% of all children worry in the first week is that they don't know anyone and that they don't have any friends. By giving them the opportunity to start going to a park and socializing with other children, this might take some of this concern away. And now, I hope you have a wonderful year and that your child enjoys his school. Now to some of the tips that the White of CA has with our after school program. This is a great announcement for us and we are very proud of it. So listen in as I interview Kristen Visco and she will talk about our homework zone and aftercare program. Until then, have a great day. Carolyn with
with the YWCA Bucks County. And here we have Christine Visco, Youth Services Manager for the Y. We wanted to ask a couple of questions in regards to youth programs coming in the fall. Hi, Christine. Hey, Carolyn. Uh, Christine, what are the youth programs coming up in the fall for the YWCA Bucks County? So we have um, this fall a bunch of different after-school programs in both the community and at a few different schools. And what are the dates and times for those and the locations? Okay, so um, our school-based programs are at McDonald Elementary School and at Benjamin Rush Elementary School. Mm -hmm. And these programs are Monday through Thursday. Um, the hours are around 3.30 to 5.30, and they're focused on providing homework help with students that really need it. Um, but then we do offer community-based after-school programs that run Monday through Friday for 4 to 6. Um, so this is for the aftercare and the parents that need those mm -hmm. services. And they are at Country Commons Apartment Complex, Creekside Apartment Complex, both in Ben Salem, um, Aspen Grove in Warminster, and Foxwood in Levittown. Um, all of our programs start on September 16th. Excellent. Do you have a form of payment and any way that people have um, to sign up for the kids for these programs? Sure. So if anyone is interested in learning more about our community-based programs, um, you can visit us at ywcabucks.org. There's a tab on our website that says Homework Zone. Our school-based programs, we do not charge for them, um, but they're based on teacher referrals. So the students that need the homework help the most, those are the ones we served within the schools. And then the after-school programs in the community are only $10 a week to attend. Excellent. That's a very good price. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Christine Visco, and thank you for listening and watching at our YWCA Bucks County Empowerment Podcast and TV. Take care.